Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons and what I want to show you in this video is how to download a Reach, Inlet Reach RS2 GPS receiver. We're actually going to get some Rhinox files from some static surveys off of this head here. This is we call Reach Red. So we have six of these so we just name them by color. So I want to show you how to do that in this video. So the first thing you want to do is power on your Reach. Okay. Now, there's a couple things that, that could happen when you do that. Um, if you're in an office like mine where it's been set up, it'll automatically connect to your Wi-Fi network. Okay. If it doesn't detect a Wi-Fi network that it knows how to connect to, it will launch its own Wi-Fi network. And so how do you tell? How can you tell uh, what you got? Well, you got to go to your... You got to go to your... Um, Wi-Fi panel on your computer, your laptop, and if you pull that up, you can look and see um, if you don't see your Reach Wi-Fi network in the list of Wi-Fi's, that means it's it's connected to your to your office Wi-Fi. Okay, so in this case, I don't see my Reach Red Wi-Fi network in my list of Wi-Fi networks on my laptop, so that means it's it's connected it's connected to the office uh, Wi-Fi. Now we'll, we'll we'll be able to tell that here in the next step. So once you have it powered on, uh, the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have your Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, have have the IP address for your reach. So each reach gets its own IP address. And what you're going to do is you're just going to pull open your web browser. So I'm using Chrome, and you're going to type in the IP address for the reach uh, directly into the address bar. Okay, and if that works, uh, so you might get this uh, little warning message that says the connection's not secure. That's okay. Go ahead and go to the site. Okay, and so what you're going to get is you're going to get a page that looks like this. Now, this looks just like the page that's on your cell phone app or your tablet app, your mobile app. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into logging. And then here you can see all the files um, for this particular receiver so these were all taken yesterday on July 3rd so I'm gonna go ahead and download those okay now once they're downloaded um, you want to make sure they're downloaded so I'm just gonna confirm that I have those files here and I do okay let's see there's four red files RH red files okay so they're downloaded okay so then you can hit select and delete those logs so now the head's clear okay don't delete those until you're sure that you have them okay once that's done you can just power down your head okay now what i've got i'll add to the end here of this video is i've got a little screencast from my cell phone which shows you when you connect to the reach receiver on your mobile device your tablet or your cell phone it'll show you how to pull up the uh, ip address okay all right guys thanks for watching all right, guys, so I'm going to open up the Emlid Flow app here. You can see I've got my receiver powered on, and you can see the IP address right here. So that's the address that we're going to enter into the web browser.